Round's going to officially start in two minutes at 2.15 p.m. is when the round's going to start. So everyone can go ahead and find their opponent very quickly. And the next round's going to go up. Okay. Nah, just going over some of these, seeing how they're doing. Oh no, we saw Lucas Sacco bricking game three and the opponent starts with Foolish for Rhino. Discarding Solik. Gosh, you know it's tough when they're not even foolishing for like a Guido Kelberg. Then, hey yo. We got room hard on the field. They get hit with Imperm, and then they go Summon Oliver, Discard, Angelic Ring. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and watch them this round. Let me go ahead. Prediction. We got Not. Throwing. Ooh. I'll put th Okay, there we go. Throwing. And then we got Shark. Enterprises. Okay, quick little one minute prediction on who you think is going to win this round between these two. So then they made a sold. Gosh, like, what's even going on? <laughs> what is this? Hey, shout out to 47 Tyler for the follow. Thank you, thank you. This reminds me of like the pearly player in the last tourney that was also playing a sold in their deck. It's like every deck's just trying to sold right now. But 30k points on not throwing. You put 30k points on the player who's going second into Manadium Infernoble who went first. There's no shot. There's no shot. I'm putting all my points on the warrior deck that won the dice roll like this. Oh god I am. These are the decks that I'm most scared of. Go to a YCS. No, I'm not scared of Uncham. I'm not scared of Pursley. I'm scared of Manadium, Infernoble, with like no hand traps in it. Because this deck will just FTK you if it wins the dice roll. <laughs> so, W Tate, W Shark, W Shark, he's going crazy. Banish, add back Phoenix Blade. Activate the Phoenix Blade. Okay, okay, let him cook, let him cook. Okay, that's it, that's fair. Okay, alright. So, at least we got a, we got a beefy SP Little Knight. Let me tell you what. We got a night. oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, 19 attack SP Little Knight, but a 24 attack Fenrir. Into a Desires? Are you kidding me? Banish, it goes through, draw two. Is there still a Pearly in tops? Um, yeah, I think there's still a Pearly in top eight. And now they're going to go Fenrir search for another Fenrir. Yeah, this is just tough. Um, oh, okay. Set some cards. Set a lot of cards, though. So we know it's Centron. I mean, we saw him play last round. It's not like a hidden deck or anything. But they set three. So it's like, what, Book? Like, Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, Imperm, stuff like that. Maybe the Trap for Centron. Said so great infernal deck. Still could have made a better play, but Nib is a thing. Timer, by the way. Oh, true, 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 true. So they have Fenrir as a guaranteed interruption. You know, hand traps or traps. You know, there's gonna be a lot of interruptions. If they don't have any engine, there's gotta be interruptions. So activate primitive planet, go search, sure. Then, I don't know what they're going to go for. Uh, they're playing a sold in this deck. Can't wait to go over the deck lists and see, like, what happened. Didn't he even go into a sold? Yeah, but, like, come on now. There's, there's this. They searched, uh, they searched Kashtira Rise Heart. And then they dumped. And then they went into that. And then they went... Tribute, special, and they went affect the search. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. And then, so it should have added Room Heart, not Rise Heart. 
Yeah, add room heart does sound pretty good off of sold. Now that sounds like actual follow-up, like a sold search room heart. I'm taking notes on that end board. We're gonna go arrival, summon back out, right heart. So that that's a valid target. Yeah, it's a warrior. Yep. Thinking of effect. Thinking if effect. Okay, so they're saying maybe I do it, maybe I don't because Fenrir, maybe I hold it till later on when there's more monsters in defense. Okay, so they just activate it now. And then thinking in response. Are they gonna hit him with like an imperm into Fenrir effect combo here? Also shuts off the link one. I guess you don't need to shut off the link one though. They're gonna search arrival on res, Fenrir, banish. They don't have anything that they can summon back right now, so better have a normal summon. Yeah, better have something to keep going. We know that they have rise, but that doesn't actually do anything. This deck is kinda saucy, not gonna lie. A little bit. Like, you know, summon a sold with a room heart. I, I don't know what to say about that. It's just my biggest fear. You know, I don't want to play against this deck ever. Oh, they have another target for Fenrir. So they got another Fenrir in deck. The combo goes harder if I played around in Perm. So they're going to go ahead, search out a Fenrir from the deck to the hand. Okay, got a couple of them in the hand. Once they get to like a stand up, you know, it's free discard. But Fenrir attack, effect, banish the primitive planet. Alright. Oh, this deck is nice, set one pass. I have faith in not throwing. We're gonna go normal, summon Ash. Yeah, okay, now the game is over. Like, for sure. Activate called by on Ash. Sure, that's fine. Like, the game's over for sure now. This may be done, but why is the clock counting up? Uh, I don't have a clock that counts down, so I just count up instead of down. Which is like, it's like the same thing, it's like the same thing, like 45 minutes, just count up. Um, but now they're gonna go terraforming. Mm hmm And also, uh, if the clock counted down, I wouldn't have the ability for it to go down past zero. Because it would have to hit zero and then keep going like the opposite way. So that way people with time extensions know how long to go. And I don't I don't I don't have that. I don't know how to set it up. Maybe, maybe there is a way to set it up. I just haven't looked into it really. Uh, I just figured like this works good enough. Like me personally, like if I played in a tournament and I saw a timer going up, like I wouldn't complain. So like I feel like me hosting a tournament, like I shouldn't you know care if i host it like that if you get what i mean uh do you really expect Yu-Gi-Oh players to know how to count up and not down kick w yes yes Yu -Oh players can't read can't count none of that stuff's real never needed it never needed it all we need is the heart of the cards but we got baron pop can we please draw a centron starter again not a single one that's so crazy. We've gotten multiple draws for turns and the desires and our draw five from the starting hand. I mean, sure, we're just winning with straight non-engine. Like, literally. Like, Fenrir, Book, Ash, Imperm, Droplets, and Primitive Planets, and Negate Baron. They're thinking on that. Sure. Um, They probably have another Book of Moon, right? So... That could end up being really, really good. Arrival to summon back out Reichhardt. And then chains a DD Crow on the target. Yep, so banish that out. Okay. Isn't Centron like 13 starters? Yep, 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 yep. 13 starters. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so crazy they haven't seen one. There we go. Activate Oath, bring out. Yup, okay, on to the next game now. On to the next game now. But yeah, they probably had Book of Moon set, so that means they could have used Book of Moon as Book of Moon, or they could have used it to, like, get the Baron Interruption, because if the opponent goes, like, 
you know, Arrival Chain Link 1, we could go Baron Chain Link 2, Book of Moon Chain Link 3, and then forgets that it's dropleted, so then it'll still negate the Arrival. So that's really good in that spot when the opponent doesn't have many cards. But Activate Primitive Planet, okay, I don't care about thumbs up on the activation of Primitive Planet. I want to see a thumbs up on the resolution of Primitive Planet. That's what I'm checking for. So search for right card. Thumbs up on the res. Wow. Woo! <laughs> How meta warping is Centron or is it hype? Um, uh, we really won't know yet until like at least a week from now. Just cause like everyone's gonna be trying it out. So like we don't we won't know if it's hype or not. But yep, guess just wait like a week and then we find out. The deck does seem decent enough though. Like it's definitely gonna be a deck that people will still continue to play like a month from now. But you know, is it on the same level as, like, a pearly deck or something? You know, it's probably a little bit lower than that. They're going to destroy, summon out Room Heart. Room Heart effect to go search Meek. Okay. So, is this game just, like, normal Manadium combo then? I guess we find out if it's just normal Manadium combo. Or do we assault at some point? Because I'm trying to think, how do we get hand trapped halfway through our combo and then summon a soul? But summon out an ADM Synchro 6, affect summon out Meek from Graveyard, think if they chain Crow or something. Or maybe chain Imperm. Because um, if you wait to Imperm the Synchro 8. I was going to say, I, I guess you could actually just wait to stop the Synchro 8, right? But okay, they're going to go ahead, Valor that. And then activate a rival to summon back out right card. And then okay, drop nib on that summon. That does check out. Pass over the token, because they could summon Baron right there if they wanted. Set one pass. Nah, that's so tough. That's so tough. That's so tough. That's so tough. On the same level as uh Vanquish Soul. I would say it's like a little bit. On a better level than Vanquish Soul. Vanquish Soul is a breaking problem. This deck doesn't. This deck has like plenty of starters. Yeah. I, I definitely think this deck's better than Vanquish Soul. But not like too much better. Hey, shout out to uh, Tan Pepe King for the follow. And Big Boy Sprites for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Said, my points. <laughs> is there already a second wave of support for Centron in the OCG? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Otherwise, it'd probably already be on DB. Uh, Vanquish Soul just needs more starters, honestly. Yup. Deck definitely needs more starters. Oh, I need a ruling. Oh. One. I can't remember if you can drop with Talons. No. You... Yeah. Like, if it says send it to the graveyard, you can't send it to grave as cost. If it was like a metamorphosis that just says tribute, then you can. You can banish as cost, though. Yep. I mean, you can... Yeah. You can, you can do certain things. You can do certain things. But, okay. Let me go ahead and give the ruling to this player. Hello, issue. Hello, issue. Um... Don't too sure about that one thing. Can I attempt to reuse Pearly XYZ effect to F use if you use this reframing? Um, have you attempted to do it? Yeah, cause I can't answer it before cause I'd be coaching and I can't coach. Yeah, and he used reframing. I mean, are you using it now? Yep, okay, okay. No, you can't. I guess I'll read over real quick just to make sure, but I'm 99% sure that you can't. It's just, once for turn, yeah, you can't. I'm not even going to read over it.
Yeah, can't do it again this turn. Okay. Oh, fair enough. I was just about to see if I needed to give an extension or not, but apparently not. GG's, GG's. Okay, back to the game that we were in. So we see Manadium Tier Zeros moved on the top four. Yokeman beat Lucas Sako moving on the top four. And then there's Draco Master versus Black Cards. Actually, let's check in on their game real quick. So we see that Black Cards on Labyrinth won game one over the opponent. But, okay, let's just go back to this game now. This game, you know, I don't want to say it's over, but it is definitely not looking good for Shark here. Actually, now that we've come back, I want to say the game is over. There's SP, there's Synchro 12 into a draw pop. Yeah, the game is over. Set one, end of main. Okay, pass. Uh, Raisin 8 winning a YCS. Hey, it was close. It was close. It should have won Dormont. It should have won Dormont, but he played so bad that match. It actually hurt watching. Because I was I was even calling the misplays too. I was sitting outside watching the finals. And I was like, how much you want to bet Like if they activate their young king? Or they put Lily in Graveyard, they wait until they activate their young king to crow. And then they actually did. And I was like, wait, no, no, no. I was just playing. I was just playing. <laughs> You're not supposed to actually misplay. Oh, no. <laughs> the nerves got to the player, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It happens. Like, I mean, we saw YCS Richmond finals. Like, the nerves definitely got to the one on chain player. Bad. Bad, bad. Like, activate Imperm on DDD, wave high king Caesar. Next play, tour guide effect. The opponent chains the negated DDD wife, the, the DDD wave high king Caesar. And they proceed to put tour guide in the grave. They forgot it was negated, like, five seconds after they impermed it. So, like, yeah, the nerves are definitely hitting them. But, yeah, attempt to go for a game there. I guess droplet on the synchro to stay alive for a turn. Is this only at 25? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't even know how it would be at 25, because this would put it down to 2k. Can I show the combo? No cap. I'm about to... So I can't lie. He's probably going to say, I can't lie. I'm not interested. I don't really care. GG's. That's fair. That's fair. And then I, I got to go watch this match. But. Said so Rhino 1, Scream 2 in the graveyard. Okay, so that means we already have a tier card in our hand. And we're going to go search trap. Probably just discard trap. And then... Okay, see like spear mode in their graveyard. So that's stuff that they could draw. How far are we into the round? We're not far at all. Wow. Those other matches finished so fast. We're only 14 and a half minutes into the round. Vanquish Soul ain't sending their best to a YCS, a DBG. Wait, Vanquish Soul ain't sending their best to a YCS? I don't even know what that means. But all I know is that... Me, personally, I'm not pulling up a Vanquish Soul to a YCS. I've thought about it. I really have. And I can't do it. It's just not consistent enough. It's like the same thing with, like, Flounderies. I'm definitely closer with Flounderies than I am Vanquish Soul, though. But Flounderies, it's just, like, it's, like, almost consistent enough, but not quite. Not quite. Yo, DBG, can we start playing early? Yep, if you want to go ahead and start playing top four early, you can. But, you know, you're not going to have the, the timer. So, just keep that in mind. But they're going to summon out Mud Dragon. So, what's your opinion on Phantom Knight this format? Oh, it's uh, it's not very good. I'm not going to lie. Not not very good. Oh, also, let me let me do the predictions real quick. Uh, we had not throwing, ended up winning. That's great. The predictions went stupid for top eight. We had 41k on shark and 32k on not throwing. That's like more than we had in the finals last time. But okay, let me go ahead. Not throwing, won that one. Wow, okay, that was a huge prediction. Next time, DBG, I swear we'll get there. 
Sorry guys for the 41k. Thanks for the points. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, that's Beatrice right there. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do prediction. Start prediction. Who will win? And then I'm gonna put who will win this match. I wish I wish I could do like uh like sports betting odds. Like do like over under. Because obviously the Labyrinth player is favored to win the match because they won game one. So even if they lose this game, they still have game three to choose to go first. But alright, I'm going to go ahead and do a one minute prediction on who you think is going to win this round. Will it be Draco Master or will it be Black Cards? And also, you know how I spoke about Dormont like two seconds ago? Black Cards is actually, you know, I'm, wait, I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, pretty sure it's this account. Might be like one letter off though, but I'm pretty sure this is the count that won the YCS Dormont. Should be. Should be. But they're gonna go ahead, bring out Dragos to Paleos. And they got Dragos to Paleo, Toad, Beatrice. They left Muhammad Shark on field for sprint bounce back. They left Lady on field. Lady can set from deck. If the opponent uses anything. I mean, if they play Meta Noise and they set it from deck off Lady. They're insane. They're insane. But probably they don't play it. Uh, game 1 didn't play around enough. Game 2 couldn't play around enough. Yeah, he is the one. Yeah, to be fair, Centron is probably a hard matchup for your deck. Just because they're like all hand traps. Like all hand traps. But they're going to go... They said end of main... Chandelier discredits self plus stove you to go set from deck. Okay. So they can go ahead and set. Um, hopefully we see like a sphere mode or something for the Labyrinth player. Sphere mode tributing over like Toad, Beatrice, Dragos to Paleo sounds good. I guess it depends uh, Dragos to Paleo or Lady depending on what you have in your hand of course. Um, and I can play through a lot of hand traps. My hands are just a bit more meh. Valor Nev goes hard when I play around Valor, but he Valor's something different. Uh, he ain't spear mowing him, bro. Huh? What do you mean? They literally got one in grief. What do you mean? They could definitely drop one. It's not like too far fetch. It's not like too crazy. Come on, Lava Glom, Spear Mode. Either or could get dropped here. It could also just be game. As I, literally, as I say it. As, literally, as it came out of my mouth, it happened. But, alright, cool. So, let's see if the, uh, if the top four match is playing. Okay, yeah, the top four match is playing right now. So, we have the Centuron deck versus the, uh, tier deck. And the tier deck opens Super Poly. So, super poly to go ahead and stop the Calamity lock there. Also, the opponent didn't chain the Emeth in response to their Synchro. So, that means they don't have Trudy on the Spell and Trap Zone for follow-up. So, maybe that was a misplay on their part. Or maybe they have a way to play around it. Um, or maybe it's because they had Fenrir. And they just didn't want to activate a monster effect so that way they can't attempt to banish the synchro so that way they could attempt to calamities them. Okay, I think that's what was trying to happen there. But then they got hit with Super Poly and the Mud Dragon. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, let's go back to this one. They're probably done side ducking now. Or almost done side ducking. Uh, I didn't get to show my anti Super Poly combo. The goo will simply do well at Bologna. Hey, I believe in you. I believe in you. You gotta go to top Bologna with the. Manadium Infernoble Goo. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Activate Prosperity. It's pretty good. Um, I'm confused though. Wait. Are they playing Furniture Lab or are they playing Trap Lab? Because usually Prosperity means that they're leaning towards Trap Lab. But we saw Chandelier Stovey. When is the YCS Baloney? Uh, December 8th through 10th. Yep, 
Yep, it's coming up very, very soon. That's the next YCS. Uh, okay, so they're playing the Unchained cards in the deck. Designed to play Prosperity, though, even though they're playing Unchained. They're also playing Labyrinth Labyrinth. You know, not many people are playing Labyrinth Labyrinth if they play the Unchained stuff. But also not a lot of people play Prosperity if they play the Unchained stuff. I feel like a lot of them are playing uh, Extravagance. But they're going to grab Stovey Torby there. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm nervous. British versus Italians. Say U and EU. And I've heard Italians are difficult. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, you might end up, like, they might try to language barrier you. I guess just try to, you know, very clarify what is happening on the game state at all times. Like, this is what is happening. Yes. This is what you're doing. Yes. You know, just, you know, say it, say it very loud. Kind of be, like, ignorant about it. Like, you're going to battle phase now? Okay. Start step of the battle phase. Like, you know what I mean? Just don't get caught up. Some people are running prosperity to avoid Yama, Chaos Angel, Banish us, Sense Furniture, Arias combos, get so many bodies on field. I know that some people are running prosperity, but most people are running extravagance. Like, uh... The two people from the Chinese Discord that topped the YCS Richmond with the deck, they were both playing Extravagance. They weren't playing Prosperity. And they were also playing, I think it was two Chaos Angel, three Yama. No, two Chaos Angel, three Yama. I tested their deck a bunch. But then they're going to get Shivara Effect set. Wait. They didn't get Shivara Effect. Wait. Oh, or did they? They didn't. No, it's crazy. Okay. Um, I'm kind of bad with judge calls. All right, low. I should have gotten a guy DQ'd or gained a warning, but I didn't because I'm too nervous to call a judge. I beat him, but we topped the open anyways. Um, yeah. Honestly, just don't be afraid to call a judge. Simple as that. Straight up, you just got to do it. Call a judge. Hey, here's what I do. If I call a judge. If the floor judge rules in my opponent's favor, I call head judge every single time. There's no reason not to. There's no reason to be like, oh, I lost the judge call. Okay, that's it. No, that's not it. I'm going to call a head judge because maybe the head judge rules it in my favor. And it's honestly come up so many times where I've had to call head judge to get the correct ruling. So many times, bro. So many times. So many times the floor judges just don't know the rulings that they're talking about i've noticed it's been a lot better since we came back from the pandemic like honestly the floor judges have been just whew, like crazy they've been really good at their job but you know before the pandemic my god like the judges did it felt like they didn't know the game it literally felt like the judges didn't know the game and i'm happy it's not as much like that anymore but um, facts, we always appealing. Swear to God, we're always appealing. Every time. We stay calling head judges. The floor judges around here are terrible. Uh, I rarely have game-related issues, not gonna lie. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. See, now that, that sounds like Italy right there. I always play correctly, and I'm convincing in real life. Yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, if you get into, like, a situation where like maybe your opponent does a take back and you don't want them to do the take back you know because you know i mean technically they're not supposed to be able to do a take back you know i mean you could definitely call judge on that or something you know just don't whatever whatever the situation is you know it's not game related issues you know just call a judge it doesn't it just doesn't matter flip d barrier Okay, chain lady, chain halfness. It's not it's not every day you see a mistake in arrest and lab. But now they're gonna hit the opponent with the D barrier. Before they mill anything, cause if we wait for them to hit a shuffler, then lady gets chain blocked. Which hurts. They don't want that. They really want lady set from deck. Okay. Honestly, if they hit shuffler anyways, it's still gonna really hurt. What are they calling with D-Barrier? Um, well, I guess... 
you know, it's probably just fusion, right? But, yeah, it's just fusion. No, uh, we're gonna go ahead. Hey, no, they said low. But, okay, they're gonna go ahead. Tier cash effect in the middle there. Yeah, I can't use the Sharon because D barrier. Um, I said then later in the game when I was wrecking him, he started slamming the table and cursing in Japanese, which I should have called the judge for since I'm a kid. And we had a designated seating because of anxiety too. That's crazy. Wait, you got designated seating because of anxiety? That's a thing? That's crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing. But... Yeah, um, I mean, it's not even just because you're a kid, bro. I'm gonna be honest. If someone started yelling at me in Japanese, I'm gonna call a judge too. I'm gonna be like, hey, yo, come get this dude. Be like, what is this dude doing? <laughs> He's yelling at me, bro. It's not even offensive because I can't understand what they're saying. It's like, it's like, you can yell big words at me. I don't know what they mean. I'm too ignorant to be offended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feel about that one? Yeah. I'm doing that, getting seating because of anxiety, the goo with VIP water. You get to sit with the VIPs? Yeah, you can get designated seating for mental issues. It was a safeguard too, because I'm a kid in a room full of 400 people. Um, Nah, I mean, look, bro, you ain't, you ain't got to be afraid, bro. You ain't got to be afraid. If you're saying that you need, like, a safeguard because you're a kid in a room with 400 people, nah, you ain't got to be afraid, trust I used to walk around the events all the time when I was young. I mean, obviously, like, I'm not afraid. Oh, good, good, good. I was going to say, obviously, like, you know, don't, like, get into somebody's van or something, I guess. <laughs> you know, the obvious things. The obvious things. Hey, SP can be made. Yeah. That's what they're looking at. I just don't want to walk around trying to find my table. Gosh, that's so crazy, though. Get into van noted. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Chill. I'm trying to get VIP water. Uh, The autism and anxiety ain't it, though. It was right next to a club, so it was loud. Oh, that's unfortunate. I remember uh, YCS Vegas, when we were playing the 3v3, my god, I was sitting there playing, and it's literally to the left of us, all, all you hear is, oons, 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 oons. it's just a huge, like, party thing going on, and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I was literally sitting there talking, I was like, bro, I'm trying to play, and it's just like, there's literally, like, a party going on, like, 20 feet to the left, it's not even behind, like, a wall, it's behind a curtain, so it's like, the noise is just flying into where we're playing. I want to do a 3v3, but, like, none of my friends got their tickets in time. Rip. Rip. What were they saying? Please tell me tier wins. I'm not trying to play against lab withdrawal mistake and arrest. <laughs> Missed me with that. Bog. Bog. <laughs> okay, so Manadium 2-0... Won their match. It did win their match. Okay, but... Yeah, it's going to be hard for Manadium to play against Droll, Mistake, and Arrest Labyrinth. Uh, I would ditch the, jewel, the, ditch the duel and join the party, to be honest. Nah, 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 nah. We were always dueling. Even, even at the party, come on. Go join the party, but keep the duel going. They were blasting American Boy while I was charging round 9 for the top. It was so annoying. But, they're gonna go ahead. Okay, so Lab is just thinking here about what they're gonna do. Because, obviously, all their stuff from before, gone. They have Scream with Tear Cash, so they have Mill 3. And they start with Normal Summon Ku Clock. Uh, it can't be a good start if it starts with Normal Summon Ku Clock. Are you even supposed to Mill there? What does this get to? What is the point of this? What is the point of this? Do we know the other card in hand? Am I am I dumb and just don't remember? 
Is it like an extender? Um, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, 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 sure, sure, okay. Yep, that's fine. Yep, Sky Crisis, that's fine, that's fine. That was, okay, okay. Yep, that's fine. Go ahead, beat over, and then pass. Yep. Yeah, can't beat over to your cash. This is at 28. We're at 24. But now, they're back at 29 because the scream is not live. So they do have to draw something that they can, I was going to say, normal summon or set. It's like infinite top decks there, actually. As long as it's not like Nessie. But Pop Harpy's Feather Duster, bring out Shyama, Scream the Mill 3. Oh, they're thinking on that. Do they have Ash? Um. I mean, if you have Ash, you definitely drop it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the Mill 3. Stop this from losing attack. What do they even make next now? Uh, SP's been gone through. I'm not sure, actually, what they would go into. And now they can, like, beat over Tear Cash, affect Bounce Shyama, it goes to the bottom of the deck. Okay, like, that's that's pretty de that's pretty decent there. That's pretty decent. Um, wasn't helping. I saw a lot of women. The women gave me strange looks. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Are you saying that you're pulling while playing Yu-Gi-Oh right now? Probably because you're a kid with a room full of adults, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but, okay, they're thinking here. I'm going for it. Shyama pop tier cash, tier cash mill two. Did we mill crazy? Oh, and we're going to pop the scream. Okay, okay. Sure, 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 sure. So, we're going to search Solik and mill. I was going to say, we would do Scream 1, though, because we want to mill Solik. But I guess this also gives us the opportunity to mill Rhino. Oh, we mill Sharon, though. And then we get the Surge, and then Sharon gets to go ahead and Fuse. And we get a Solik the hand now. So, like, Solik's, uh, you know, pretty decent interruption. Uh, I guess it stops Ariana from being able to be top decked. And then Sharon effect to go put back. This is going to go for Kaleido Heart, right? Since we got... Oh, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. We have Shyama. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't a Kaleido Heart, right? This is a... Yeah, this is a Beatrice into whatever we want. And the Garua draw. And the Kaleido if we want. And the Planet Pop. Yeah, that's just game. Uh... What? So is nine nine nine. That's a dual master card. UK police line for y'all Americans. Y'all is nine nine nine. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure the one in Germany was like one one nine or something like that. I remember. I remember my buddy. He was like, "Bro, you gotta, you gotta learn the German police number in case if I get injured and you need to call the cops, bro." And I was like, "Bro, there's no shot. I'm gonna need to do that." Said not Planet Pop. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't Planet Pop there, to be honest. But now they're going to get... Solik Rhino? You mean Garua Rhino? Yeah, 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 yeah. Garua. Garua, I mean. Okay, so draw one, and then discard special. Yeah, yeah. Now you're getting ready for the new chain link. <laughs> So go ahead, discard Merly, bring out Rhino. Oh, they drew Merly off the Garua. So now they're gonna go Merly 1, Rhino 2. And then they're gonna dump. But I mean, it's not even like good, right? Cause they were gonna dump Merly off of the Rhino anyways, because they already went through Sharon effect. Havness is in the grave. Tear Cash has gone through. Like, this isn't, like, lucky, but, um, it's 110 for police and 112 for firefighters ambulance. Bro thinks he's gonna get injured. My man's sitting playing Yu-Gi-Oh all day. What's gonna happen is brain breaks after playing through a 100-step combo. 
Oh no, my, my buddy wasn't even playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know, dude Dude was just sketch for no reason about it. No, he wasn't like too sketch about it, but he was telling me that I should learn like the police numbers or whatever, and I was like, it's just never happening. Okay, battle phase game. Two, three, five, two, five. Boop, game. Wow, okay, so Labyrinth ends up losing there. The opponent wins that one. Let me go ahead and do the predictions. Wow, so... I mean, I'm guessing that the predictions, I was going to say the predictions should have voted for black cards because, you know, they had won game one and the predictions started at game two, but Draco Master ends up winning that one. And, you know, Manadium Tier 0 happy about that one. Yeah, Manadium Tier 0 happy about that one. Not playing against some.